guy with the gun. It turns out later it was plastic. Races down the aisle towards the cockpit. I stick my leg out. He's down. I'm on top. Then five other passengers jump on him too. I'm a hero. I'm on chat shows. I tell my story well. I hint at broader issues. I've got views about security, the economy, the environment. The PM invites me to lunch. People are listening to me. It's a pivotal moment. I rewind time. I meet Mark Zuckerberg. We get talking. He's got this idea. He's wondering if it could work. I encourage him. Frenetic times. We cut a deal. I'm sitting on a good chunk of Facebook shares. I get up an hour earlier in the mornings, sit in my dressing gown at the kitchen table with a mug of tea. I used to want to write a novel. Now, I'm actually doing it. All my observations of people over the years are going into it. This is what I really think and feel. The atmosphere at dawn, the sadness of childhood. I'm writing hard. My agent really loves the manuscript. Dave Eggers has written a brilliant blurb. I've just heard it's on the Booker long list. The guys at work are not going to believe it. I'm introduced to Kira Knightley. She looks me in the eye. We smile. There's a connection. She's lonely. I understand her. One day she drops by the office. I'm very modest about it. She tells me what she really feels. That she hates being famous. That she cries sometimes. I hold her hand. Give her a hug. I'm her best friend and her lover. I have magic powers. I can go back in time and be 16, but know everything I know now. I keep my brain, but swap my body. I sail through exams. Yeah, it's a little boring maybe, but it's so satisfying hitting every single grade. I go to a different university. I know exactly what to say and do at all times. Seduction works so well. I have youth and experience. No one says no to me. Not even Alice. I've just read in the news that guy from college who was always ahead of me, who got that huge job in banking, is really sickly. It's horrible, but a relief. I look almost like I do now, but without anyone noticing, gradually, line by line, the wrinkles and the blemishes fade. My mouth becomes a touch more symmetrical. The lips a little more pretty. My ears get just a little smaller and ease themselves over a few weeks more neatly into the side of my head. People smile at me more often in the street. My colleagues listen. I'm still me. Just the way I was supposed to be. We keep quiet about the fantasies we have because we're not sure how other people will react. But they're doing the same thing. We should go easy on ourselves. A fantasy is sometimes just the best shape a wish can take. We don't always have a plan, and it may just be the best we can do. But fantasies also mean freedom from responsibility. We're free to make it perfect, and not have to worry about what it would actually be like in reality. <laughs>